I love the uh, the slow driving in Days Gone. It feels incredibly realistic, thank to the, thanks to the incredibly slow driving. Ah, uh, Boozer do be sweaty. Boozer just had to talk to the cashier at McDonald's all by himself. He's sweating from it. You can see it in his eyes. Damn it, Deke! I had to order the chicken nuggets. That McDonald's didn't have a a, a robot cashier. Boozer just had the last McRib. Is this a Zombo game? It's more like a Freakers game. Remember to not call them zombies, they're called Freakers. A Tweakers game. It would be way more realistic if Boozer and Deacon uh, had a friend and his name was like Methhead John. That'd be way more biker. Every biker gang has a guy affiliated with him named like Methhead John. He stops at the gas station, he gets the little roses that are in the little, uh, the little glass tube. He pulls the rose out and he turns it into a little meth pipe. All right, Boozer, you're in the bitch seat now. Ha 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 Come on, Boozer. No, get on my bike. You're my friend. Ha 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 Don't take the bite victim. He's, he does, he's not a bite victim. Boozer got burned in the beginning of the game by, um, uh, the, I can't remember what they're called, fuck, the, uh, the, the they're like called fleshers, or, 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 flesh boys. Boozer got burned by the flesh boys, and that's why he's sick, is because he has an infection in his flesh boy burn, alright? Dude, if they made werewolves real in Days Gone, it would have been a much better game. If they made werewolves real, and made it so that Boozer became a werewolf, it'd be a much better game. Okay, so what did they say to burn him so bad? They just walked up to him and slapped his bald head. If, if, if I was bald and somebody wanted to burn me, they'd just come up to me and start playing my head like a pair of bongos. You know, if you open your mouth and you actually hit the, so the, 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 the top of your skull, you can make like a coconut sound. Watch this. Iron Mike lets you stay. My friend will have a chance. It proves how empty-headed you are. Damn, y'all have a fucking... Is that a Toyota Camry circa 2002? Oh, sorry. Went too far away, I gotta walk with Ricky. Head empty. That's just because your head is hollow. Yeah, there's a little... There's supposed to be a little hamster in there running in the wheel. Yeah, he left his position three years ago. So sad. Oh, rippers! He got ripped by the rippers, that's right. Holy fuck! High quality, high definition pine cones! Oh my god! Deacon, quick! Fit as many of those in your mouth as possible! Or, for the, for the more, uh, for the more sensitive chat member, Quick, Deacon! Fit as many of those pine cones up your ass as hum humanly possible! Come on! Let's have a contest. How many pine cones do you think Deacon could fit up his ass? Those are pretty big pine cones. I'm gonna go for two. You know, he does have kind of a- he, he kinda- he kinda does look like the, the, the kind of guy to have a really tight sphincter. So maybe- maybe- maybe we- we theorize a little bit about Deacon's butthole. He, uh, he a tight sphincter kind of guy, or do you think he's loosey-goosey in there? Deacon, hurry! Quick! Search for some poppers! Deacon, quick! You're supposed to take it all in one go, Deacon! There they are! Schizo and Iron Mike. Yeah, but I thought Deacon, like, fucked you guys over royally. You're just gonna forgive him. Just do uh, it, uh, Deacon. If you want to come back to the camp, you're gonna have to give me a belly rub. You know, in every room you walk in, categorically, one in every five people in every room you walk in is a furry. So what I'm saying here is, in these, in this group of, of four people in this room right now, there is a, a hot 80% chance that there is a furry in this room. Which one of these guys has a fursuit back in their camp? Also, think about it. If you wear a fursuit during the apocalypse, uh, you're going to be bite-proof. You just have to weave chainmail into your fursuit. Somebody's had to have made, like, a combat fursuit at this point, right? Like, guaranteed. It's gotta have, like, ballistic fiber woven in, right? Like, zombies? I'm not worried about it. I have chainmail woven in. Also, the lack of fucking any goddamn zombie apocalypse story, and the lack of any character just using and making chainmail, because there are a lot of medieval freaks out there, and there are quite a lot of home forges out there in the wild. The fact of the matter is, there is an incredible lack of motherfuckers using chainmail to stop zombies. What I'm saying is, Deacon should be wearing full chainmail, like one of the guys from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Give me a kiss, Iron Mike. What is he doing? Is he- did he just check my ass? Iron Mike, you salty Sally, I saw what you did. I think his idle animation looked like he was checking out my ass. Hey, Iron Mike, stop that. That was in my, uh, my zombie survival prep, uh, book in high school that I wrote. I wish I could find that. I had like a 50 page zombie prep book. One of the things said, get chainmail. Another one was to take simple motors, uh, make like pipes, weld the pipes to walls. 
uh, weld the pipes in hallways and use the simple motors to move giant rip saw saw blades so that zombies would just walk into them and they just cut them up. And then you make a sluice hole in the floor so you capture all that sweet and fetid meat. Mike was doing a quick mental pine cone check. Blades don't need to be reloaded. You've never played a zombie video game before, have you? Zombie fucking video games, you need to reload your blade because for some reason they break after five uses. Somebody played Half-Life 2. Yeah, shut up. Oh, I gotta leave this camp. Y'all got a stack of face masks there. Oh, jeez. Yeah, sorry. Y'all got face masks there. I can't help it. I gotta get out of here. Y'all are wearing diapers on your face. You're welcome. I'm glad I can help. Just give Boozer new arm. Remember, if you have to cut off Boozer's arm, give him a cool giant metal hook. Sherman's camp is so fucking full of freakers. Sherman's camp is like your mom's busy bedroom on a Saturday night. Full of freakers. Still weird as fuck to me that they put a bunch of, like, Collect wilderness, collect berries, get out there and collect mushrooms for the camp. If people are hungry at the camp, they'll need those mica caps. Brendan, what's the funniest term for zombies that movie shows and games use? Uh, Zeds. I'm a big Zed head. Zed, I think, is the funniest zombie name. Freakers is, is up there, not gonna lie, but Zed. Oh! <laughs> there they go. What do they call them in, um, 28 Days Later? What do they call zombies in 28 Days Later? Nest. Do they call them like swarmers? Dingle hoppers? Jompies? Anybody remember? What is that, like a dog? Ball and dog? Oh my fucking god. There was baby here. Now there's not. This is so sad. I love environmental storytelling. You could tell that's environmental storytelling because there was baby there and now there's not. This is how I knew. Was baby now not baby? Yes, indeed. Would you prefer an audio diary? Yeah! I simply can't understand video games when they tell me a story by showing me picture. I need them to tell me the story by telling me words. I don't understand it. Without an audio diary, how can I know what's happening? If I don't have them telling me exactly what's happening, how can I know what's happening? I need- I need them to spell it out for me. I need them to spoon feed it to me. I'm a hungry, hungry boy. Spoon feed me. How many days gone are we? I don't know. It, 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 it doesn't say if I press start. 762. Days gone. Oh, sweet! Oh, if that's a 10 point buck if I ever seen one. Honey, please, don't drive off the road to run over deer. No, no, that's a ten-point buck, hon. Hon, I can't help it, hon. Ten-point buck. Mmm, we're gonna be dining on deer jerky tonight. Yeah! I had to do what I did. Because if I didn't, nobody would have been able to eat that deer. I like how much meat Deacon wastes as well. And in, like, Red Dead, you just rip off the hide and leave all the meat behind. In this, Deacon just takes, like, a liver out of there and just brings it back. Days Gone isn't double A. Days Gone is a triple A video game. What are y'all talking about? It it's a Bend Studios game produced and, 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 like, released by Sony. Days Gone is a triple A video game. It had triple A budget and everything. In Days Gone, you can take one sliver of beef and you can bring it to the butcher and they will buy it. I'm not allowed to turn in at the kitchen yet. There is a box here impeding my progress. Lame. The game has said no, Brendan. No! The box is there for your protection, Brendan. No! All right, where's my bike at? I gotta get out of here. I gotta go. Who's that guy? Boozer. William Bell. Boozer has a real name? What? Don't personify Boozer for me. I don't want to know that he has a real name. Next, you're going to tell me about, like, his wife and kids. And how my wife was more important than Boozer's wife. What? <laughs> Get out of the road. Beep beep. My bike is incredibly durable. One thing you don't understand is I built this baby out of pure titanium rods. That's right. I found every freaker above the age of 70. I broke their knees again. And I took the little rod out that kept their knees stable. And then I smelted a bunch of those down. They called me the old person freaker. Because I kept finding old people and old freaks. And I take the titanium rods out like I described. Hello everybody, welcome to Brent Daniels Plastic Chair Review. I think I might have already done one for Days Gone, but I just gotta say, love to see those drainage spots, love to see the back of that chair looking strong and proud, and I'm gonna give these an 8 out of 10. Oh my god, they had corn crunch here, and honey chomps. Oh my god, I'm out of here. Do this job for me, or I won't help you find your fucking hot wife, Deacon. Oh, I gotta find my wife. I've been talking to a rock for two years. Oh boy, we get to do another Days Gone stealth mission. My favorite. Yum yum. You know what you should put in your zombie game that touts amazing horde technology? 
um, fucking stealth missions where you have to hide from the, the former remnants of the U.S. military. I'd be a chopper chaser. I'll, I'm in a chopper. I'm chasing a chopper. Chopper squared. Oh, dude, imagine if I was famous doctor from the Straw Hat Pirates. Tony, Tony chopper. That would be top. That would be that would be chopper cubed. Chopper on a chopper chasing a chopper. Yo! This is literally the, these these missions are literally the only reason you have a rock in your weapon wheel. Don't worry, I'm the stealthiest motherfucker to ever exist. I play video games, bitch. Good thing these Sony games have big bushes to hide in. I know, right? Days Gone is funny because I feel like Days Gone is literally a parody of Sony action games or uh, Sony action adventure games. That's why I like Days Gone so much because it's it's actually just a parody. If you treat Days Gone as a parody of games like Spider-Man, God of War, uh fucking Last of Us and Uncharted, it works a lot better, I feel. Like this game does work a lot better as like some kind of weird fucked up parody. There's one cool technology aspect, i.e. the horde tech, right? All, all the Sony games have one cool tech thing about them. Oh, he's looking at the- he's on the table, I see. Oh, her- also Horizon Zero Dawn, yeah. Days Gone, as a parody game, works a lot better if you just keep that in mind, even though it's not. Oh my god, Deacon, stop talking to yourself. Deacon, you need to shut the fuck up. Like, I love that Deacon doesn't have a jovial companion. Deacon's not Spider-Man, so we can't get away on his fucking charisma alone. Deacon doesn't have, like, an Ellie, so he just talks at himself. Deacon has no personality, so he has to, like, mutter to himself. He has no, he has no, uh, uh, like, sidekick. He doesn't have a silly sidekick. He can't keep getting away with this. See? He's muttering to himself like a psycho. Like, come on, you son of a bitch. Deacon talks to himself like Alex Jones does on the radio. Oh, that's a big guy. Oh, never mind. He's fucking dead. How do you like that, huh? Being ambushed, you like that? How do you like that? I- Deacon really needs to yell, like, Skyrim enemies. I- uh, I really just want to hear Deacon yell, Do you like the sight of your own blood? Huh. Gotcha. Do you like the sight of your own blood? Huh. Gotcha. Do you like the sight of your own blood? Hey, how do you feel about that? Do you like the sight of your own blood? Days Gone's protagonist is just a Twitter reply guy, but since the internet is down, he has to reply to himself instead of making a Twitter post. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Dogecoin. Bitcoin. Hog coin. I lost all of it when the freakers came, and I'm still freaking mad about it. Oh, dude, can he piss? Bad game, Deacon can't piss. Whatever happened to the good old days? You know, when video game protagonists remembered how to piss? There should be a, uh, what is it, fucking, um... What do they got here? You know, when people make, uh, fan cams? There should be a fan cam, but it should be for when video games let you piss. To the tune of, if I could turn back time... To the good old days. <laughs> Make a fan cam of all video game piss animations. I don't know why, but nothing is nothing is as satisfying to me as the Duke Nukem death sound. Where he's, ugh! Ugh! Ah! I feel like Homer. I, I feel like this Lisa storyline. Every fucking time I see it, it just sucks shit. Lisa! I left you at this camp, then you got taken by rippers, then you got uh, left at a different camp. Lisa! Lisa! God, I, I hope she's just- she's just dead. I hope she's dead. I'm not afraid of saying it. I don't care. I hope she's dead. Oh fuck, that's a lot of freakers. I don't know if I can take on that many. Let's see. What the- where'd they come from behind? How'd they do that? Why are there more? Don't send more after me, assholes! I can't do it. Freakers got me. The ones behind me literally just spawned in. I love Days Gone, dude. It's such a good game. The ones that were behind me literally spawned in. The ones in front of me also literally spawned in. They ha they love these boxes. That's their cardboard boxes. They're mad at me. So what happens when you don't have like fucking the big Molotovs yet? I love the hordes. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days. Oh God. I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. They keep spawning in more. They keep spawning in more. Why? I'm trying to escape you freakers. Oh God, they got me. They're gonna get 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 me. And they got me. And they got me. Use your rift, Brendan. I got freaked. I love getting freaked in uh, Days Gone. God, I hate this game sometimes. Fucking, why was- why? Why was the horde there this time? They should make a siphon filter, but instead of like, making hordes of zombies come after you, it should be hordes of paramilitary troopers. 
all aimed with all armed with baseball bats and they just thwack you. They run after you and then they bop you. Get on, you fucking dumbass! Oh my god, how does he do this with no urgency? I hate this shit. I hate it. I don't understand Ben Studio. How do you make it so that Deacon has no urgency getting on the bike whatsoever? I hate this shit. None! Got it. He just lackadaisically sits his fat fucking dumpy up there. Like, oh, everything's gonna be fine, Deke. Don't worry about your fat, sloppy, wet ass, Deke. Hey, Brendan, can we, can you go on your, can you go on your famous Oreo versus Hydrox rant? Okay. The Hydrox cookie was invented before the Oreo. The Oreo was a knockoff and they just came up with a better name than Hydrox, which is bullshit because the Hydrox cookie was first and better. And yet Oreo heads will sit there and say that Oreo invented the sandwich cookie and everything else is a knockoff. No, Hydrox cookies were first and they were better. Oreo came had a better name and a worse cookie, and everybody lost their fucking mind. They used better quality ingredients than the Hydrox cookie. That's why, it's that simple. They were better cookies. Oreo heads really do be like, give me my Oreo birthday cake cookie. I can't live without it. Fuck you. Hydrox is in fact a terrible name though. Yes, 100%. You are, all, you are correct on all fronts on that one. Hydrox is a horrible name. Horrible name for a cookie. And yet, they were first. Hydrox literally does sound like some kind of medicine you'd take for your anal warts. But, twas the first cookie. Twasn't the other cookie. Hydrox twas the first. Oreo stole it. Oreo is living on stolen valor. The Nabisco company won't admit it. I wouldn't mind if Oreo just stole the Hydrox recipe. I'm just saying the Hydrox cookies were better. They, they, they just, uh, I mean, to be fair, Oreos kind of fucking suck nowadays anyway, right? Does anybody else feel like double stuff Oreos are secretly just the old Oreo size now? Like, that's how they feel? I mean, uh, you remember uh, shrinkflation being like a real thing and Cadbury then fucking saying, uh, the Cadbury cream eggs aren't getting smaller. You're getting bigger. Like, Cadbury calling me fat for saying their eggs are small? I feel like double stuff Oreos are now former, like, the old Oreo size. Which, I don't know, to be fair, Oreo tastes like fucking plastic to me anyways. A lot of processed foods, I feel like they keep trying to cut corners and they just keep tasting worse. So a lot of processed foods anymore just straight up taste like plastic. They just do. Wow. Wowza. Wowzers. Wow. No sorry. That's a big hoard. Yeah, this is why I need to buy more apples and grapes. If I'm eating more apples and grapes than anything else, uh, I, I think that's probably just a good thing, ain't it? Good idea to focus more on apples and grapes. Then, like, I don't know, fucking eating my yummy pizza Lunchables, getting all those microplastics inside my body. Watch me try to get on my bike, and yet he'll get on there in a lackadaisical and very slow way. Oh, time to hop, hop him on the old bicycle. Yep, there we go. Took me some time to get on this bad boy, but uh, here we go. I need more capsaicin. Yeah, I need more spicy things. Bear! Oh, he's a big one, huh? Oh, well, that was a big and large boy, huh? Jeez, that was a big one, huh? Wow, you see that feller? He could eat five, maybe six people. You know why they had to end Bear in the Big Blue House? It's because Bear's handler couldn't handle him anymore. The last episode of Bear in the Big Blue House, the Bear in the Big Blue House killed 15 people. They don't want you to believe that it's true. They want to make up the rumors that it was just ended because, you know, it was a cartoon, it was, a, it was like a kid's show and they had to end it. No. It's because the bear in the Big Blue House killed 15 people. 15 oh, wow. people on set. 15 production assistants died that day. Dude, I was watching a TikTok earlier, um, even though I'm trying to use TikTok less, I was scrolling through it while I was pooping, and there was some guy who was literally doing, like, a Markiplier impression. It was like, I can't believe people say I sound like Markiplier, even though I've watched him for the last 10 years and picked up his mannerisms. And it's like, it's because you're doing a Markiplier impression. Had like 500,000 views, and it was such a fake, like, It's incredible that people call me like Markiplier, I'm such a Markiplier fan, and I sound like Markiplier, and it's like, You sound like a band kid doing a Markiplier impression! I actively, me actively going out of my way to not sound like Markiplier. 
and still getting comments. This guy sound like this guy just like for real, for real. And then motherfuckers out here being like, I can't believe people would say I sound like Markiplier. This is ridiculous. I can't believe that you would say something like this. It's like, yeah, grow up. Dude, I hate deep voice. Deep voice TikTokers are like the worst. I don't know what it is. There's a small segment in that community. They're the fucking worst. They remind me so much. The biggest problem I think is they remind me so much of me when I was like 18 to 20, where like I was trying to do anything and everything to get noticed, and now I just I just make whatever the fuck I want, whatever. Fuck the rules. That's because to most people it's a blessing, not a curse. It's only a curse because of imposter syndrome. Have Simpsons done an episode about e celebs yet? No, but uh, Justin Roiland's show, Outer Planet Aliens, Outer Rim Alien, Alien Opposite, Opposite, uh, Solar Opposites. That's what it's called, Solar Opposites. Um, Justin Roiland's show Solar Opposites had like a bit where they saw a giant monster teen and they were like, he's wearing a PewDiePie t-shirt. Like that was still relevant. I thought it was weird that in the Simpsons Death Note thing, um, the guy who played the sh 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 the shamp shamp shambulam the the ship the shamp the ship what is it what is it called the fucking ship the shi the shinigami the shinigami the guy who played the shinigami wasn't like a Simpsons character, he was just a shinigami. I thought that was odd, cause like you have Mo right there. I thought the Shinigami was supposed to be Bart. I, th I thought it was just- I thought they were gonna do Mo. He had like green hair or whatever. I thought it was gonna be Mo or one of the weird side characters. Chat, look, it's your dad. Chat, look, it's your dad after a full plate of barbecue at the Cracker Barrel. Chat, look, he's cracked. Whoa. Dude, it's Dave Batista, Famous former wrestler and movie star. Bro, I loved you in Blade Runner. Leave me alone. I loved you in Marvel movie. Oh god, he's hit me hard. He hits like a truck. He thinks like a truck. He is a truck. Oh my god, he killed me. He just knocked me the fuck out. Brendan, put my dad down, Brendan. He has too much barbecue in his system. Peepaw's too strong right now. One second, I'm gonna fucking- I'm gonna fucking load my ammo up. Do I have the- okay, I do. Load him up. Load it up! Build him up! Break him down! God, when are more video games gonna have a gun like Torbjorn's gun? The only reason I ever want to play Overwatch is because I like how Torbjorn's gun works. I like that it's a long-range sniper and a shotgun. Got him. How did that not take him down? Take me down. Not a lot of people left around. Take him down. He's full of barbecue! I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. Dad, please put those baby back ribs down! Those aren't ribs, Dad! That's an actual baby! Die, die, die! Put those ribs down, Dad. Those aren't baby back ribs from Chili's. That's a real baby! He wanted his big boy barbecue. Did you know that the neuroscientists confirmed that the muscle zombies weren't as big as they were as people, meaning that the vi virus inflated them nice and big and round, haha. -ha. Yeah, I knew this. Obviously, the virus made them nice and big and round. Oh, dude, they got newts up there. You remember, what is it, what is it, Pen Pengu, Pingu, Pengu do that? Pengu go, Noot, Noot. I want to get the baby, give me the baby ear. How do I get up there? How do I get in that cave? I want the baby ear. Let me in there, let me get the baby ear. Okay. Get down from there. I want to collect your ears. Get down, get down from there, Babo. There's so many Babo in that hole. I want to get that Babo ear. Damn it. The game won't let me get the Babo ear. I think that Days Gone needed a better soundtrack. Days Gone needed System of a Down. Days Gone needed more new metal songs. If Days Gone had new metal songs, it would have been a much better game. All I'm saying, Ben Studio, you fucked up. The lack of new metal songs and the like fucking weird, like twiny Last of Us ambience, dog shit. This game should have had more butt rock. And I mean that unironically, I do think this game needed way more butt rock. And that's what this game is lacking. Literally, they put in double the amount of butt rock and this game would have been much more pleasing to a lot of people. Like, the game is literally, it's just one of those days where you don't want to wake up. Everybody sucks. Everybody fucks. Like, this game is literally Limp Bizkit the game because I keep rolling, 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 rolling. What? Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Just like Biker Undertaker. What you want to do now? Why did somebody tweet at me? Which one of you freaks tweeted at me, I want Brent Daniel to gape me and read Chippo Man into my echoey cavernous hole. Who the fuck tweeted that at me? Why would you say that? I'm not yelling into your gaping hole. I'm not yelling into anybody's gaping hole. 
Who the fuck- who the fuck wants me to be like, oh, yeah. Alright, show me your asshole. Hello! No! I'm so glad the zombies stop and wait for me. To finish my cool kill move. It's so nice of them to wait for a moment and let me kill them. Wow, look at that waterfall! Golly gosh, I sure do hope there's a secret behind there. No, never mind, that's right, Deacon can't swim, and that's a- there's a whole thing about Deacon not being able to swim. Because they didn't want to, like, do swimming animations for Deacon. So Deacon can't swim, remember? Don't worry, they'll never see me now. Hey, who's that guy dodge rolling away from the cave? Huh, <laughs> don't worry about it. Looks like I already won, making you the loser and me the winner. Hey Deacon, what'd you find out there? Well, Iron Mike, I found an air fryer. You know those bags and bags of frozen uh, chicken nuggets we got in the big freezer? We can finally cook them! Urine. This'll tell me where he is. Hmm. I can track this PP. That's right, Deacon! You can track that PP! Brennan gives off high school bully vibes when he calls enemies nerds. They deserve it. Fucking nerds. I'm gonna stuff them in a locker. More video games need a locker stuffing animation. That's all I'm saying. I should be allowed to stuff any nerd in a locker if I want to stuff them in a uh, stuff any nerd in kind of stuff when you, when you stuff them and uh, snuff them. This game is so unrealistic is because if they were really walking near a lake, uh, one of them would get a dragonfly accidentally in their mouth and go. <laughs> so called free thinkers after the McRib comes back for a limited time only. That's them lining up for the McRib. Mike, why are you so smooth? Why didn't it load any of the textures on his face? He looks like a action figure of Freddy Krueger right now. Why is he so fucking wet? I feel like it forgot to load a texture there. Yeah, Deacon is high res. Mike is low res. This is why they butt heads. Come on, Mike, we gotta leave. You can worry about killing freaks later. Kill the humans. Pretend like you are a, you're a Ferengi. Kill the humans. Be like Quark. Y'all are being silly out here. Y'all are being silly. Stop being so goofy. We gotta get on our funny bikes and ride out of here. Come on, Mike. Let's go be freaks back at home. Do you think my texture will ever load Mr. Brendaniel? What, do you look in the mirror and you've got like the fucking didn't install CSGO Gmod texture wrapped around your face? You look at your Steam account, it's been hacked, you can't install CS Source, so you just have the purple and black checker mark all around your body? Like, no! No, I had it installed! No! It couldn't be me. It couldn't be me! I curse you. You are now an error texture from Gmod. I curse you. No arms, no legs, no thoughts. You think that's what AM should have turned uh, the one guy into at the end of I Have No Mouth and I'm a Scream? I've turned you into a Gmod error rap. Now you can do nothing. Do not ruin my favorite short story like that. It, yeah, if you like I Have No Mouth and I'm a Scream, you should watch um uh, uh Babylon 5. Harlan Ellison does a ton of work on Babylon 5, so if you like I Have No Mouth and I'm a Scream, you might like Babylon 5 a lot. Little show recommendation for you. What if his name was Rob Freaker instead of Rob Zombie? You ever think about that? I Robert Infected, your brand new single, Big Boys on the Beach, is busting out. Butt Rock versus Dad Rock, which is better? Why not both? Yeah. Why aren't both good? <laughs> I Fallout 4 ragdolled that fucker away. Bye bye, dumbass. That poor bird. I. <laughs> Flap your wings, fly as you might, you're stuck. You poor, you poor creature. Why is there another bird stuck in the wall here? Oh, poor guy. Had to put him out of his misery. Gotta get a feather out of that bird. I'm half fence, half man. I got crow meat. Finally, another member of the drinking diesel squad. Mmm. Unleaded gasoline. No, no, no. I asked for leaded. Apparently, lead inhalation is related to aggression. That's why old people are so angry all the time. They're fat and full of lead. Their brain has so many lead particles. You think Iron Mike has a brother named Steel John? You think Iron Mike has a sister named Bron Li Bron uh, Br Bronze Brittany? Oh, uh, playing the harmonica! It's a band! Oh, they're setting up. Play me a song. Hey, somebody play on that bucket. All right, do a sweet kickstand on that piece of cardboard right there. Why don't I just beat the shit out of him? Can I move this bucket? The bucket does not move. The bucket persists. Okay. Nobody else can get the job done, but Deacon St. John is a man who can get the job done. 
Put that on his fucking tombstone. Hi, my name is Deacon St. John. I get the job done, whether or not I want to do it. Hey, thanks for sending me out on another mission where I just go kill a bunch of guys. Actually, pretty awesome. I love being able to use my guns against humans instead of against the freakers. Man, if only we could find some common cause and band together. You know, as humans do. Oh, I'm in the lake. Out of the lake. Does anyone know how to leave the lake? Does anyone know how to leave the lake? He can get the judge done. Yeah, Deke's, Deke's not afraid of getting the judge done. Oh, fuck, freaks! Yeah, I'm gonna clear the camp pretty easily. They'll, uh, they'll have to deal with the freaks first. Yeah, I think they're clearing the camp for me. I think they're doing a good enough job for me here. I just have to sit here and wait for the freakers to kill them. I don't know, I don't even know if these guys can kill a freaker. Look at this dude. He's getting bodied. Yeah, they're taking care of the freaker. They're, they're taking care of the, the bandits for me. Oh my god, penis. Why does this not slow them down at all? Oh god, it's water. I forgot. I throw Molotov in water. Why'd I do that? Bastards, bastards, bastards. Fuck! I could've gotten them. I could've gotten them. If they just... If they just... If they just didn't have killed me. If they just hadn't killed me, I could've gotten them. What happened to all the... Where'd the freakers... Where'd the freaks go? What happened to all the freaks? Did they just stop... Did it save and it stopped them from following me? What? No, I definitely killed all these freaks. Did they leave one guy alive? Can't just the majority of you come after me? Come on. Oh shit, behind me. What the fuck? Why did one come up from behind me? There we go. There's a couple gone. You just gotta spread them out. Half of them are bone-dead stupid, so bye-bye, freakers. Thank you for the bounty. Thank you for this beautiful bucks and bounty you've given me. And where the fuck are the rest of them? Oh, they're back in their hole. All right, freakers. All right, I see what you're doing. Oh, there's that guy. That was the guy I was supposed to kill. Well, he's done, so... Shouldn't have fucking camped so near a, a... Like, these guys should not have camped near a bunch of freakers. Yeah, okay, this many I can handle. That's not all of them. That doesn't count as the horde. There's the horde. Bye-bye. Just a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know. Oh, just a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and then boom. I like killing the hordes before you get the kerosene bombs because it makes the game a lot easier. So I like killing hordes before they give you the kerosene bombs because the second you get the kerosene bombs, the game is a fucking cakewalk. Every horde is easy. Uh, being in California would be cool. Put, put, uh, if Days Gone ever happened, I'd love it in California. Have like a big horde high rise where you start at the top and the horde just fucking like rolls at you from the bottom. That'd be fucking fun. Wilderness and whatever is fine. I just wish this game didn't try to have a biker aesthetic without, without like going full bore into it. Hey, Deke, you uh, you ever, you ever make meth? No, no, I'm a straight boy. I just drink a little drug. I drink a little drug called life. Yeah, riding my squealing Harley. That's all I need. I don't need to take drugs. I ride my Harley instead. Hey, go check that out. Cool rock. Oh man, that guy's gonna be like me after I find a cool rock. Nope, didn't see me. <laughs> gotcha. Tricked you, fooled you. I'm in the dumpster now. Can't get me, I'm in the dumpster. <laughs> Hiding in the dumpster. It's me, the famous Humpty Dumpter. You can't get me. I want to hide in the dumpster behind like a restaurant near closing time and I want to dress up like a jester. That way I like fucking, they go to throw a bunch of shit away and I like fucking pop out and go <laughs> And then I hand them a thousand dollars for their trouble. But I'm not Mr. Beast. If I had Mr. Beast money, I'd come up with way dumber. Oh shit, I'm not real. You didn't see me. You didn't see me, I'm a little secret. No, no, no. I'm a little secret sorbet. You didn't see me. Didn't see me. I'm a little dumpster boy. Yeehaw. That's just a jack-in-the-box. Yeah, I want to disguise myself as a jester. Then when they go to throw away all their extra burgers and fries, I jump out and I scare them and I go, You found me. The secret world. Dumpster jester. Here's a thousand dollars. And then I jump out of the dumpster. I click my heels and I run away. On to a new dumpster. Oh, son of a bitch. How do you hear that? You didn't hear anything. Caught by Nero. I should hide behind the dumpster instead of, like, in the dumpster. Because obviously they hear me rooting around in there like some sort of trashed panda. Try our homestyle hamburgers. 150. Best around and in town. I do want to try them. I do want to try your homestyle hamburgers. Best for 150. One dollar fifty hamburger? I'd 100% try a couple of dollar fifty hamburgers, not gonna lie. That's me when I go into my old hometown, Denison. Uh, and I get the Denison burger. Mm. Mwah. I love getting me a big, fat, and beautiful Denison burger. You get a couple of Denison burger and a bunch of fries. Oh, fuck. Although that Dairy Queen is weird. They're not incorporated. I've talked about it before. They have their own menu. They don't have a drive through They have a drive through but you have to call them to order. They have their own pecan blizzard. Love, love that Dairy Queen. It's the only good Dairy Queen. That DQ does sound awesome. It's great. 
They're fucking weird. They, do, they have their own menu. You don't buy chicken tenders in a box. You buy them individually for a dollar a piece. I fucking love, I love my weird uh, old hometown Dairy Queen. I think they got incorporated recently, which makes me sad. But I think they still have their own original menu. This is why when I went to a Dairy Queen when I was a kid in a big city for the first time, I was so fucking confused. I asked the clerk for a Denison burger and they went, what are you talking about, you fucking psycho? Bye bye, freakers. Not a one of you has ever had a home-style Denison burger, huh? Not a single one of you! All you people lining up for a fucking McRib, leave me alone. Look at them, they want to consume me. Ah, uh, this is just like Black Friday working at Best Buy. This is exactly what it's like. Except I don't have a gun, I have brochures for total tech support. Here, sign up for it! $200 a year! Total tech support! We'll install your TV for $50! These are McRib fans. This is the McRib. Ri uh, this is the McRib Legion. Oh fuck! That looked like that looked like a little scary, actually. Whoopee! I made a little oopsies. I have like no ammo. I make a little oopsies. Ow! Oh, fuck! I make a big oopsies, actually. Oh, it's fine. That's not many. Freakers! Freakers inbound. Freakers spotted. Freakers destroyed. Oh, please stop. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. My old hometown was basically known for uh, that Dairy Queen, and then um, it's really weird. Uh. They had a- my town used to have a festival every year for some actress who was in It's a Wonderful Life, Donna Reed, because she was born in that town. And it's like, they never have a festival for me. I never get my very own festival. I'm the second famous person to come out of Denison, Iowa, and I need my own festival now. I'm the fifth famous Iowan. Give me a festival. Throw a parade for me. I hate it when, like, Midwestern motherfuckers talk about, like, famous Iowan cuisine, no? I ain't trust anybody who says, yeah, I live in a small town in Iowa, they have a great cuisine. It's like, uh, yeah, okay. You go to the Casey's Pizza, you go to the gas station and get food from there. And then you go to, like, the one buffet in town. You go to the one home-style, home-country home diner where they just put slop on the food and call it their very own special gravy. I ain't trust like that. I ain't trust nobody who says their small town has good food. I'll add it to- yeah, add- add it- add it to, uh, the Denison, Iowa Wikipedia. Denison, Iowa, famous for Donna Reed, Brent Daniel, and some of the- like, most meth users per capita in a small town. It's because the Walmart's there. I'm gonna- I'm gonna gatekeep being Midwestern. It's like, if you don't know what it's like to drive 80 miles to get to the Walmart, you don't know what it's like to live in the Midwest. I- Oh, we're going on a weekend trip. Where are we going? Walmart! Yeah! I'm gonna look at the GameCube games and think about maybe, maybe thinking about asking Grandma to buy me one. Your hometown actually has a lot of notable people, Brendan. No, it doesn't. Are you checking? What notable people are from my hometown? There's no way. It's just me and Donna Reed. The Secretary of Treasury, L.M. Shaw. Oh yeah, he has like a little plaque somewhere there. I remember that. Way- I'm way more famous than him. I- I stream and make video content online. Obviously, I'm better. Is that a horde? Oh my god! Say goodbye to Deacon, everybody. Bye-bye, Deacon. Oh fuck, he died. <laughs> Where'd that horde go? Oh, they disappeared. Where were they? There we go. Two birds, one bullet. Now I have extreme bullet penetration. Let's see if it helps me live. Oh no, it will not. There's no way that helps me live. Can I, uh, do this? Can I do this? Can I do this? Oh my god, stop whipping me! Stop hitting me! Oh my god, run! Run, Deke, run! Run, Deke, as fast as you can! Right about now, you're the gingerbread man! Oh, fuck me. Oh god, penis. And poopness. Stamina cocktail. Med kit. Oh, why do I keep pressing the wrong button to shoot? I keep pressing R1 to shoot. Run, Deacon! Run! Oh, keep running, boy! Oh god, I don't have any more stamina cocktails. I'm dead. I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up. That's too many boys. I can get them. I can get them. Even in the position I'm currently in, I can get them. Alright, you just gotta believe. As Nart, as famous anime protagonist Nart once said, you just gotta believe. Alright, and I believe. Where are they? They're up here. Coming round the mountain. Did I lose him now? For real? For real? No capital? There's a fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> Suffering from severe shotgun mouth. Oh man, him carrying this big can of gasoline. What if your belly was fat and full of liquid just like this? 
and you could shake it around. Oh, they're over there now. Weird. They must have spawned over here instead. Huh. Oh, I fucked up. I forgot to reload. I'm dead. I'm so fucking dead. I'm so fucked. I don't know if I could kill them on guns alone. Okay, they split up. They're stupid. They're stupid. They gave me pieces. I just gave them the gas tank, yeah, for free. It was just, here, it's a present for you. It's a free house for you, Jim. I'm just a little guy. Leave me alone. All right, got him. Tricked him. The little guy defense always works. You just gotta believe in the little guy defense. You just gotta believe- If you tell your enemy you're just a little guy, they'll pause for a moment. Always gets him. There we go. Horde's done. Told you. Told you I could do it. Didn't even need any bombs. Lamp oil? Rope? All I needed to do was be incredibly powerful and show them how powerful I am. I just like that they gave Deacon a dodge roll, but they didn't give him like an iPod filled with gut rock. Give Deacon iPad! Give Deacon iPod! This guy's the lamest biker ever. Days Gone didn't succeed because Sony didn't believe in, believe in us. Days Gone didn't succeed because Deacon fucking sucks. You could take this game and give it a different main character and it could succeed exactly the same as it is. Sam Witwer is not a terrible actor and I enjoy him in things. I don't enjoy him in this. Because Deacon fucking sucks. He's a wet blanket and a wet fart at that. Keep the game exactly the same and get rid of Deacon and the game would be improved tenfold. This game should have had Crush 40 do the soundtrack. Yes! Replace Deacon with somebody that people give a shit about. I mean, like, literally, just... He, he, I don't know. Get rid of the whole wife story and just make it about... Make it, make Sarah the main character. You know what I really like about uh, Dying Light as a zombie story and just in general is Kyle Crane, at least Dying Light 1, fuck Dying Light 2, garbage game. Um, Kyle Crane, as you play through the game, even though the story is lackluster, he's like learning how to do the parkour and the combat shit as you go through the game. And you can feel that as you level up and get stronger, the game becomes easier and certain things get easier to do. And I like that. Deacon just knows how to handle all these military weapons and knows how to handle the freaks immediately because he's already been doing this shit on his own for like a year or two. But there's just no, I like, he's just, me win me win my wife win 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 me win me win me. And if the Try Guys have shown me anything, ain't nothing sadder than a guy whose entire personality revolves around loving his wife. Deacon's entire, entire story revolves around me win win my win my, how will achieve, how will doing this achieve me seeing my wife and going bagunga? How will doing this task help me achieve my goal of seeing my wife and giving her a big kiss on the lips? How long is this game? Like 20, 30 hours, depending on how much content you do. It's just the game revolves around me when when my wife, when 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 you when you gotta I gotta find when and all the side characters and everybody you meet, they don't matter. Nothing matters until you find your when you 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 wife. And the biker culture stuff, it doesn't matter at all either. Like, it's not even really there. It's like, if you wanted to care about biker culture, you could have done something a little bit more interesting, although the game might have suffered for it. The game might have suffered and been less of a Sony game and more of a, a its own thing. Game could definitely be improved if they gave Boozer a big cleaver on his arm. And he just started wading through hordes of zombies, cutting them into little itty-bitty bits. Well, see, Ben Studio took a risk with this game. It's just, uh, they didn't take the right risks. The horde tech in this game is awesome. Like, the, the amount of enemies you can get on the screen in this game is the, the, the strength of this game. It's just they thought they were telling a way cooler story uh, than they actually were. Boozer's shotgun! He can't use it anymore, Bazinga. I really do feel like I'm some kind of guy who really wanted to join a biker gang, but then started his own biker gang. Are you John Wick coming with the V-Bucks or are you Fortnite balls in your face? I don't know what the fuck that means, I'm sorry. I am 29 years old. I don't know what that means. How are you playing this before Last of Us 2? I'm, oh god, dog! How much dip does Copeland have stashed in that big tree of his? Oh, you're talking about- I thought my brain stopped working and I forgot Copeland was a character in this video game. He's probably got a lot of dip. He probably goes to every gas station in the state, rips all the dip out, and keeps it in his big tree. Copeland the kind of guy to grow his own tobacco and his own fiberglass so he can make his own dip. How likely is it I'll be kicked out of a WWE match if I, if I buy cheap tickets and attach weather balloons to my chair to fly into the front row? They wouldn't let you in with the, uh, they just wouldn't let you in. You would not, you wouldn't even get past, the, you wouldn't even get to the entrance. Weather balloons are pretty large, and they don't let backpacks into shows like that. The last, I went to a house show for the first time in forever, too, though. Um, for the W, for the WWE here in town. And, uh, there was a guy walking around with a championship belt, and he was asking kids if they wanted to take, why did my bike do that? What? 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 He was, he was walking around and asking kids if they wanted to take a picture of him and his belt. 
and uh, I looked at his belt and it said vape, it said like vape champion 2018 on it. I was like, this guy got a custom belt made for blowing clouds. I did not take a picture with him. I totally should have. I whipped out. Y'all forget about my crippling social anxiety. Holds me back from being a, a, like a like a, 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 a social psycho. Why, yeah, why was he asking kids if they wanted to take pictures with his vape championship belt? Is the more, like, uh, that's the more poignant question. Best Buy, when I worked at Best Buy, they had this really sad, um... Best Buy belt. It was like a Best Buy championship belt, and it had like a if you so if you sell enough credit cards, if you sign enough people up for the Best Buy credit card, you can wear the bet. It was a so it was like a WWE belt, but they had modded out the middle and put a Best Buy credit card in there. And it was like if you sell enough credit cards this week, you get to walk around the store as the credit card champion. And I think that's still one of the saddest things I've ever seen working retail. So of course I sold a bunch of credit cards and I walked around like all day as the credit card champion, right? I. <laughs> So of course, anyway, so anyway, I was the credit card champion, right? I, Deacon loves to game. Deacon be playing Banjo-Kazooie. Deacon be- Deacon- There should be a mod for Days Gone that makes Deacon make Banjo-Kazooie noises. God, what if- what if Deacon rode a unicycle around instead? Deacon should ride one of those tri-wheel bikes. You know, like that really old guys wear- like the- the-, the, the you know, like the six-year-old guy on his motor tricycle? Deacon should have one of those.